Hey, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel, Papercraft Secrets. Today I am excited to be showcasing the brand new Minte Papers Grandma's Attic Collection. This is absolutely beautiful. It's very shabby chic. It's very soft muted colors with beautiful butterflies and lovely touches of blue. I know this is going to be very popular. There are several elements to the collection. We have the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper set. We have the cardboard sticker sheet. We have the extra number nine page. We have the new six by eight paper pad and the six by six paper pad and the paper die cuts. Let's make a start with the 12 by 12 cardboard sticker sheet. So, on our page here today, we can see a beautiful aquary duck egg blue. We've got this gorgeous beige craft colour. We have lots of cream. We have very soft, very dusty, very sunshiny sort of pink, sort of verging on a little bit of apricot. It is actually, it's sort of more apricot. So we've got butterflies. I love butterflies. I'm so excited to see butterflies in this collection. The stickers say timeless beauty. Let's, let's collect special memories. These are the moments I live for. A picture is worth a thousand words. Snaps from the past. The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Portraits of the past. Family reunion. Attic treasures. Antique vintage flash from the past our family memories so this would be perfect for scrapping your heritage photos this would be amazing for heritage photos what a beautiful album you could create with all of those old-fashioned photographs so grandma's attic so it's definitely heritage it's definitely vintage we've got flea market junkyard um, Scrapping memories of the family, my family heritage, family times are the best of times, digging up roots, telling stories, generation to generation, back in time, ageless love. So lots of suggestions here that this could be used as a heritage scrapbooking kit. Um, or, you know, you can use it for whatever you like. This would also be beautiful for shabby sheet cards. Beautiful for shabby sheet cards. Just absolutely in love with the gorgeous colours in this collection. So let's move on. Let's take a look at the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper set. This is the front cover. On the inside of the front cover, we have all of our fussy cutting elements. So we have floral clusters, we have beautiful butterflies, we have flowers, single flowers, clocks, tags, light globes and old metal bits and pieces. So this is definitely got a lot of potential for people that like to use those mixed media projects where you're adding lots and lots of junk junky bits and painting over them. Actually, this would be perfect for a junk journal. I know junk journals are becoming very popular. Okay, let's have a look at page number one. Doilies, bird cages, um, doors, tags, butterflies, heavily decorated, beautifully decorated. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous page. And on the reverse, we have our old vintage newspaper style paper, perfect for a junk journal. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, butterflies, layered tags, clocks, bird cages. Everything is just so vintage, so shabby chic. This is just amazing. And on the reverse, we have a botanical page, beautiful sort of lines of note 
paper in the background and leaves over the top. Here we have our door page. We have a beautiful old door here and lots and lots of bits and pieces all around our bird cages, our clocks, our doilies, our flowers, our butterflies. That's beautiful. And on the reverse, this is a gorgeous page. This is like a very distressed, shabby chic, vintage sort of damask pattern. Uh, very pretty, nice aqua colour. This is a different blue. This has got a different blue in it. You can see the difference there. So there's the sort of more aqua blue and then there's the more blue blue. Less aqua, more sky blue. So you've got these little, actually these would be perfect for cutting out, fussy cutting flower clusters. That gives me lots of ideas. That page there, page number four. Oh, and look at the reverse, a whole page of tags. Oh, I can, <laughs> I'm getting all tingly thinking about how we could use this page. Layers, lots and lots and lots of layers with butterflies and doilies and tags. Oh, beautiful, beautiful page. Another gorgeous page. This is like one of those pattern pages where it's sort of a little too meshed in together to do fussy cutting. Everything's overlapping in this page. This is very pretty. It's got those, the blue. It's a vintage blue in this page. It's sort of like a little bit of a dirty blue. It's very old, old with the coffee colored leaves and you know, like coffee splatters over this page. And on the reverse, lots and lots of tickets, which is very popular in you in the junk journaling as well. So this would actually be perfect for junk journaling. Maybe I should make a junk journal. I've never made one before. Goodness me, look at this beautiful, beautiful page. Number six, clock. Clock backgrounds, layered butterflies, doors, distressed. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And on the reverse, lots of lovely frames, lots of new designs on this one. Text, writing, floral backgrounds, distressed, vintage look. This is beautiful. This is an absolutely beautiful collection. This is back to page number one. And then on the reverse, we've got our newspaper. Page number two, lots and lots of heavily layered items. And then on the reverse, our botanical page. Page number three is our door page, and on the reverse, a distressed aquarium teal sort of page. Page number four is our fussy cut floral clusters, but then it's going to be hard to not cut out the tags. <laughs> you might want to get a few sheets of this number four paper. And number five, we've got our background floral page and our tickets. For those that love to use tickets in their work projects and again the number six page oh my goodness i just want to start cutting immediately this is just amazing that is the grandma's attic 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper set now if you want some more elements to fussy cut you can purchase an additional number nine page and this has but the same, it's exactly the same as the other, as the back of the front cover. So it's a complete copy of that. And on the reverse though, it's a different um, background. So you've got that vintage feel again. So that is the 12 by 12 and the number nine. So let's take a look now at the six by eight paper pattern. As I said in the video before, this is a brand new addition to Minte's line. And this six by eight paper pack is perfect for scrapbooking the Minte Chippy albums. So here's one of the albums here. And you can see that the paper is slightly bigger than the album. So this paper is perfect if you're going to use one of the Mint HEP album bases to create an album with. 
So it's a 6 by 8 size, 250 GSM. You get three copies of eight designs in this little book. So let's take a look at what they look like. So we have the a newspaper print on one side and then we have this vintage sort of damask print here in a beige and cream. And then again, so this is a very, very grungy sort of, like a, a very distressed, very vintage kind of paper. This one too, it's very distressed. So getting a lot of muted background colours, that would be great for backgrounds for your album. This is a stripe. This is my text, a lovely floral page, that's gorgeous. Another floral page, not with the blue, just with the muted colours. Then you've got your little postcard page, that's super cute. Another postcard page, so you can actually cut them out and have a postcard, the front and the back of the postcard, isn't that clever? So that's going to be perfect for your junk journaling. Here we have some lovely soft vintage frames, front and back again. Okay, and here we have lots of little elements. So you've got little metal closures and buttons and tickets and keys, all those sort of things. On the reverse, you've got a lovely lace page. And so we go through all of those designs again. And then on the back you've got that newspaper print. Okay, so absolutely beautiful. You can see on the front here what you're getting. Okay, so you're getting a lot of these sort of plain pages that you can use as background paper. Then you're getting some floral, some fussy cutting pages to mix and match. These are different designs to the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 paper. Let's look at the 6 by 6. So the 6 by 6 is the same as the 12 by 12, but On the inside of the front and the back cover, you have some fussy cutting elements. I just love that page. This is this collection is just everything I could wish for. Okay, beautiful papers. You've got a lovely thick paper pad, 250 GSM four of each of the 12 designs and then these extra little back and front covers. So that's your six by six scrapbooking paper pad. And then last of all, we have the paper die cut. So let's open them up and see what's inside. So we have floral clusters, we have clocks, we have more flowers, these cute little blue um, leaves, we have metal bits and pieces, single flowers, more flowers, heaps and heaps of flowers, clocks, there's another one of those metal Pieces. We have a couple of little tags with the holes cut through. We have some of these little ta um, tabs or tags, whatever they're called. We have some of more clocks. My favourite butterfly and my favourite colour. <laughs> the Corollas have made this collection especially for me. I just adore it. Lots and lots of butterflies. We also have this butterfly, which I love this butterfly as well. They're stunning together. Floral clusters, more of these little bits, more butterflies. We have light globes. There's another little tag, another butterfly. 
looks like a little door knocker. Not a clock. So, a bingo card. So you can see there's lots and lots of fussy cutting um, paper die cuts in this collection. This saves you having to fussy cut. So if you don't like fussy cutting or you don't feel like you have time to fussy cut, you can get creating straight away with these paper die cuts and just start creating and layering all of these beautiful things together. So this is just my view. I just, I just love this. I can't say much how much I love this collection. I probably, um, I can see this with cards. Some beautiful cards could be made out of this. Beautiful albums, scrapbooking pages, and junk journals. So it's very versatile. I think this collection will be very popular. So that is the die cuts for Grandma's Attic. So this is the absolutely beautiful Grandma's Attic collection by Minte. I'm completely in love with this collection. I can't wait to see what you create with it. If you haven't already subscribed, can you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? I hope you enjoyed looking through Grandma's Attic collection with me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a lovely crafty day.